Yeah, actually, the only know about ourselves if we can suffer. Eh? That's the only evidence we have. Maybe can see that other people they can say, "Oh, help! Ow, ow! I'm suffering," but we don't really know it. Eh? Oh, yeah, we have our own experience. But okay, if people tell you I'm, I'm in pain, we believe them and say they are suffering. And also with animals, more difficult, they have the other language, but we also find some methods to measure that now they uh, so listen to some noises, they, to say that they are suffering or they are suffering pain. Uh, but we can say, well, if you more, say more general that uh, people or animals are suffering pain, it has a meaning that they can, because of the signal of pain, they can avoid uh, that situation, and therefore they say, well, animals, because they can move, they have also the possibility for, of suffering. And like plants, who are not able to move to other places, for them it's less useful to, to have pain. Uh, but on the other hand, you also see plants uh, have a reception of light, and yeah, they, they're looking for a place and don't like the shadow, or don't like, or they don't survive in a very shady situation. So they also are able to sense a negative or bad situation for their survival. And then they can go or grow to, uh, to the light, eh? plants can do. So yeah, it depends if your definition is very broad, I think, eh? that you say, uh, uh, Ability to sense a uh, bad situation, bad circumstances, to be able to avoid it. I think then also plants can do it. And even at a uh, uh, microbial uh, level, yeah, the organisms react on negative environments. But if you say, yeah, suffering is just more like animals. And then there's nothing left to eat anymore. No, 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 that's why you put it on a scale. That, that's why you put it. That's why you put it on a scale. That's a, a difference. So if you eat, that's different between eating a clam, which, which, and and eating a dolphin. So that that that's there. That, that's why I put it. So the input is from biology, and if maybe some some plant suffers much more than other plants, then we should eat the plants which suffer less. I mean that's yeah. that's just the sign. The input is here from biology, and it's not. Not yet. That's working on. I mean, there's recent uh, uh, research on the suffering of fish. Uh, so, yeah. so that, that's all very new. So, I, I'm as a philosopher, I'm neutral towards. I'm just just putting it as an input. And there's a discipline, a subdiscipline in the science of animal suffering, which which I take as an input. May, may I add something to that scale? Because I think an in, I think it's a really interesting discussion about biology. But I think you should consider also a second scale, which includes empathy. Because if we wouldn't have any empathy, we wouldn't have this discussion, right? Because then nobody cared. And obviously, humans have empathy, but their empathy for others is less than their empathy for themselves, which is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. But, yeah. <laughs> some, or some, some animals also have empathy, but that scale, it's, it's different. So there is an evolutionary context also yeah. in empathy, because obviously we need to care for each other. But you need to weigh these things and probably consider whether empathy for many other people is more than empathy for yourself. Oh yeah, and you see that expanding of many people, we, we, as we look at, it's very normal to have a very small circle of empathy just for the people who just look like you, the same skin color in your surroundings, and to exclude all the others. So we, we need, you need to cognitively overcome our, our limitations of empathy, and we can do that, but we usually it's much more easy to think in us versus them, whatever the, the different differences are. So we, but we can do that. Sure, but it very much depends on your situation, right? Yes. So um, I think that's one of the biggest questions here. Like how, how, how big is your empathy? And that will depend yeah, on that, your own wellness. But, but the, your, your ability of empathy is a psychological question and not a philosophical question. This is how far should our empathy normatively be Maybe, maybe, maybe people can't do that. Have empathy with future generations. Have empathy with non-human animals. But it's not. That's not a question. If if they can, it's about how if they, what they should. That's the difference. That's the normative element. That's why philosophy is different from science. And this is this gives you. This is a full experiment to give reasons for why you should have empathy with others. <coughs> And, and answering uh, um, the, the question, but I do agree with Hugo that if you like them, 
is het een verb die ik weet niet, if you don't like, why should you? Well, that's the question. If you don't like homo homosexuals, why should you have empathy with them? By, the, by those, the, don't, kill, don't you kill them? That's what they do in Iran. Uh. Well, the question is, they, I, you can answer that with what if you were yourself in that position? But I, of course, you say, I don't want to do this full experiment. That's the end of the discussion. <laughs> yes. So, but this gives you an idea that, that there are, I mean, and if you are just pointing to some book uh, or so, or to some some person who's saying that's also the end of this discussion. But I'm still I'm thinking I'm, if, if my memory is good enough to, to answer Eckbert's question. First of all, I do meditate, but meditation it can be can be within the the, the scientific reference frame. I'm not thinking about some transcendental thing, it's just sitting in a psychological way. So yeah, I think meditation does not necessarily ex has to in uh, include a transcendental uh, dimension. Well, I think that since the, well, this, of course, there are many philosophers who disagree with, with what I put as philosophy, but there are different schools in philosophy, and this is the analytical school uh, from which, which, which stays close to, the, to science and which doesn't see any use for taking a, a transcendental dimension in it or any use of metaphysics. So this is philosophy from the analytical tradition. There are other traditions, but uh, which I very much disagree with. And your second one question was, oh, the so I remember, remember, the social democracy. Why didn't you? Well, you have to think. What do you, do you put on the poster? And I'm thinking that if you maybe we make a you minus my who design the poster, we maybe we do someone on uh, some on political philosophy, and then we would include social democracy. No, my bad last, point it is yeah, too it's much about negative freedom well, and too little about positive. Well, freedom. that's here. It's only it, but I guess I skipped it. Here, this uh, about thi there is the thing. First of all, you need to do no harm. That's the basic. First, no harm, and then you can say you can make things better. And then, of course, if you are standing here, first of all, you make sure that that society doesn't harm anyone. But then you can think we also need positive freedom. We need universities. We need culture. We need uh, sport facilities, and th this is very positive. And you can also create positive freedom using this thought experiment. And, 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 and I think that, that making the world a better place in which uh, the, there are no people dying from starvation is something very positive. I don't see why that's negative or why, why, why it's negative to make, to make a case against the, the killing of homosexuals in Iran. I don't see that as, as something negative. No, I'm sorry, it's not, not a value judgment when I talk about negative freedom. It's not a value judgment, it's objective judgment. Negative freedom is that you, uh, uh, when you fight negative freedom, you uh, you fight oppression eh, by the state. And, uh, and, uh, if you uh, fight for positive freedom, you fight for stimulating yeah, well, development, a, education, etc. Yeah. 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 But it's, it's in the and ethics of it, care. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ethics of care here, yeah. you have the capabilities approach, which yeah. is the idea that humans have uh, 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 capabilities and that that we should, that society should uh, uh, try to uh, uh, stimulate the, the development of all these capabilities. And that we should work on those capabilities which are uh, uh, much, uh, which need more help. So you see that, that, that also could bring some out that we need to stimulate the capabilities of, of, of women or of homosexuals, of, of ethnic minor minorities or, but that's also in here. But uh, I stress this the liberalism because first I want to have the oppression away and then also I try the positive thing. So that's that's a question of prioritizing. Because if you go too much to uh, to the capability approach, you might not notice that there is a problem with factory farming or or, or future generations. So yes, other question. When you speak about harm, I think that's very normative. Yes. So if you think by a lion who kills a goat, yes. then I think that's not harm or so. No. If you now speak about a man who's killing a goat, yeah. you will see it that's harm. But, yeah, so but ethics is about... How do they compare? There's a difference between ethics is about humans, because we can make this deliberation. A lion is also is, is, is captured within his uh, uh, instincts, and we are free to do from our instincts still a certain notion. We have a choice, we can kill a goat, goat or we can uh, uh, pick olives. And we both can have, both have, an, have, an, uh, 
a healthy diet from it. And, and so we, we are, we are uh, carnivores and we, can all, we don't need meat and we can choose what kind of meat. So we have a choice and, and, and the lion doesn't have factory farms, and, but we have factory farms. Well, but the lion also has farms for by people living around. So that's of course a discussion. With yeah, of course, but, but, who are, uh, but ethics, ethics is basically about how humans behave. We can make a choice to make to 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 increase our level of harm or to increase. And lion is just on the same point. Always. Yes. And what about reintroducing predators then, for example? Because from my egocentrist view, it would be good, I think, because it it increases yeah. like ecosystem stability and biodiversity. But from a Sentientism world here would be bad because they kill there. Yeah, but that's actually you are exact, giving exactly the same the good uh, the reason. So I don't, you, mm -hmm. that depends on what you're choosing. So, but on priority prioritizing, I would think that that's less problematic. Either of these options is less problematic as focusing on the factory farms. Yeah. I mean, it would. I, I'm more more or less indifferent to that problem, but but I'm very much concerned about uh, yeah. this because the, the amount of suffering is, is much used uh, used here. And also, factory farm is not only about the, the the harm it does to to the animals, but also the the, the ecological damage, which also uh, damages harms future generations. But I but I do think that then ecocentrism cannot really be called an expansion of sentientism. Right, because ecocentrism <coughs> might imply that you need to cause harm for ecosystems to be. Well, yeah, but yeah, well, you have to put them in one point in a, in a, in a circle, and it's not always 100% yeah, no. logical. Or, or so, yes, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Brian, help me out. <laughs> How many do we have? One, two, three. We have uh, seven minutes, so okay. rows can be short. <laughs> I have three questions. <laughs> no, you have one question. <laughs> and maybe you can keep your answer for another moment. I'd just like to bring it on the table. My first question concerns your remark that um, you were talking about that in the last 30 years, some exciting things have been happening mm -hmm. in, in philosophy mm -hmm. in terms of um, analyzing the relation between humans and non-humans or humans and nature. Mm -hmm. But isn't doesn't that more apply to a Western perspective? And that in several non-Western perspectives, these relationships have been thought through. That's question one. Question two. Um, um, your the title of your poster is "Philosophy for Sustainable Development of, and a Better World." Nice. <laughs> um, but what, in essence, is your idea about sustainable development if you? Look at the original principle put in it by the Brundtland Committee, mm -hmm. or what would be, in essence, your con your addition to the Brundtland thought, or what would you like to change in that definition? No, no, I get it. Yeah. And third, um, <laughs> how would you like to bring this to the next level? Would you like to start a movement, or would you like to start a group, or? Yeah. Um, to start with us, I, I'd like to be, become a, a Secretary General of the United Nations as well. <laughs> and, and the second best option would be the placement, and third I'll continue lecturing here. <laughs> <laughs> then the first question of you, I don't know, so that's, that's nice. Well, the second one about the no harm principle is uh, 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 the Brunton. Yes, actually I didn't uh, go into it, but here's the idea of that actually I think that sustainable development of, of the Brundtland report, to, I have my own, I, I think that that should be reconsidered and that's the idea about, about having an idea of a, a no harm uh, definition of sustainable development. That sustainable development should be all development within a framework of no harm and no harm towards uh, uh, including uh, future generations, of course, including <coughs> present generations and including non-human animals. And animals, putting animals within the reach, with, under the umbrella of sustainable development is new, but I think it makes logically sense. It is it's weird to have two different paradigms, and I'd like to put them into this. So, so that's why... That